alternative ways of determining premium and discount rates and uh, let us take up questions for practicing these alternative ways and getting started with question number 23 let us read this question it says interest rate in india is 8 percent per annum interest rate in us is 3 percent per annum spot rate is dollar one equals to rupees 70 required determine fair forward rate for one year number two which currency is appreciating and which one is depreciating number three calculate the applicable premium or discount rate for each currency and lastly explain the interrelationship between interest rates and premium or discount rates so considering one year forward contract let us see how to solve this question firstly you can compute ffr by applying the same formula that you have learnt spot rate into 1 plus il divided by 1 plus if just define all the variables substitute the values and you get the result in the form of a forward rate that will be rupees 73.398 so what do we understand over here if you closely observe the spot rate for dollar is rupees 70 and one year forward rate is 73.398 so what we are finding that the forward rate is greater than the spot rate so what we can conclude which will be the answer for the second part of the question that it is observed that dollar is appreciating against rupee and rupee is depreciating against dollar all right friends after completing the calculation of fair forward rate and mentioning that dollar is appreciating against indian rupee and rupee is depreciating against dollar time for us to find the premium and discount rates and the question has also asked you to identify the interrelationship between the interest rates and premium and discount rates so let us take one step at a time we first compute the premium and discount rates so obviously because the dollar is appreciating against rupee it will be premium rate for dollar in the forward market so let us first identify that and calculation of dollar premium by first alternative so we know one thing that we have been learning right from the beginning that dollar premium will be the difference between the spot and forward rate and the denominator will be spot rate i have been explaining this so many times to you numerator will always be difference between the spot and forward now whether you write forward minus spot or spot minus forward it will not make any difference at all however the denominator will be spot rate because the quote is given for dollar and you are finding the premium for dollar now let us just define what are these two variables f and s so f is forward rate which we have identified or determined as 73.398 and s is spot rate that was given as 70 applying this calculation we will be getting the premium rate for usd as 4.8544 percent per annum now let me show you another alternative way of computing this just look at this what we can say is this calculation if we take this as the base what is this forward minus spot divided by spot right and how did we get this forward rate forward rate we have computed as a fair forward rate there was no actual forward rate informed so whenever the calculations are done through fair forward rate and not through the actual forward rate then only you can identify these alternative ways of doing because i am going to substitute this f for the manner in which that forward rate was determined so how was fair forward rate determined how did you get this 73.398 let me show you over here so it was spot rate into 1 plus il divided by 1 plus if so it was 70 into 1.08 divided by 1.03 this is the formula of fair forward rate correct so this value is 73.398 if you don't agree with me pick your calculator check it out or just turn back the previous page of your notebook and you would find that you already made this calculation of ffr that is how you got 73.398 now the moment i display this automatically ideas would have creeped up in your mind already because you are finding 70 70 and 70 over here so even a layman can understand that from the numerator we can take 70 as common and that is what we are going to do 70 as common 
the first term will be 1.08 by 1.03 and from 70 if you have taken 70 common within brackets you will be getting minus 1 and divided by 70 and of course the numerator and denominator both containing that 70 it will just get cancelled out and what we get is 1.08 by 1.03 minus 1 and that will be giving you exactly the same result all right friends once you have finished writing this calculation let me take you ahead and show you some additional things so dollar premium we have originally computed as f minus s divided by s this forward rate was basically fair forward rate and how did we arrive at that s into 1 plus i l divided by 1 plus i f and that is how we are trying to substitute this in place of f we have taken s into 1 plus i l divided by 1 plus i f and the remaining part of the formula remains as it is now observe this in the numerator you can definitely take s as common so taking s as common outside the bracket inside the bracket what you will find is 1 plus i l upon 1 plus i f minus 1 now s and s getting cancelled dollar premium can be simply identified as 1 plus i l divided by 1 plus i f minus 1 so this is the second alternative way but keep in mind one thing this alternative ways are to be applied only and only when the forward rate is representing fair forward rate otherwise you may mess up with the calculations completely don't ever apply this when the question has given you actual forward rate separately then premium and discount rate will be just computed by taking the difference between forward and spot divide by spot or forward depending upon what kind of discount or premium you are computing and for which currency you are computing let me take you ahead and show you yet another way of computing the dollar premium now this could be 1.08 by 1.03 minus 1 so basically we have seen this 1 plus i l divided by 1 plus i f minus 1 this will give you the dollar premium if i just take lcm 1.03 will be lcm so what i'll get in the numerator 1.08 remains as it is so now it will be 1.08 minus 1.03 whole upon 1.03 exactly like this and when you are taking the difference between these two difference between these two will be actually 0.05 correct 1.08 minus 1.03 divide by 1.03 numerator will now be 0.05 divide by 1.03 it will also give you obviously the same thing but what I am trying to device out of this in the numerator what we find is 0.05 what was the interest rate prevailing in India 8% what is the interest rate prevailing in US 3% and in the numerator 0.05 that is basically 5% that reflects interest rate differential between the two countries so new formula that we can derive from this is interest rate differential that is 8% and 3% difference which is 5% will be divided by 1 plus 0 0.03 which is interest rate prevailing in foreign country so keep in mind one thing because you are computing the premium of the foreign currency the denominator over here will be 1 plus interest rate prevailing in foreign country let us move ahead and take up the next part of the calculation that will be computing the discount rate for Indian rupee so you can simply call it as rupee discount rate first straight way of computing rupee discount that will be difference between forward and spot divided by forward rate and I am sure you remember how and why we are taking the forward rate in the denominator over here that is because the quote is given for USD and discount rate you are finding for rupee that is the opposite currency that is why so defining what is forward rate and spot rate substitute the values and what you get now is 4.63 percent per annum as the discount rate of rupee let me take you ahead and show you alternate way of calculation alternative 2 rupee discount can be simply computed by taking forward minus spot divide by forward how did we get this forward rate because this was representing fair forward rate I'll be putting the fair forward rate calculation base that will be 70 into 1.08 by 1.03 minus 70 divided by 70 into 1.08 by 1.03 so this is FFR formula 
this is FFR formula. So, now you can see one thing we can take 70 as common in the numerator and denominator already has 70 outside the bracket. So, what we get further is 70 taken common into 1.08 by 1.03 minus 1 and in the denominator it is anyway 70 into 1.08 by 1.03. So, 70 70 would get cancelled out and now what we get in the numerator we can take 1.03 as uh, LCM. So, we get 1.08 minus 1.03 divided by 1.03 that will be the numerator value denominator will remain as it is. Now, both in the main numerator and denominator we find the denominator values as same. So, we can simply cross cancel that and what we get finally is 0 0.05 by 1.08 and that will give you 0.0463 or 4.63 percent per annum. So, the new formula that we devised over here was rupee discount can be computed by interest rate differential divided by 1 plus interest rate prevailing locally. Keep in mind one thing when it was dollar premium what did you do? You took interest rate differential divided by 1 plus interest rate prevailing in US when you are computing rupee discount you are taking the numerator as same interest rate differential right that is 8 percent minus 3 percent that would give you 5 percent. So, interest rate differential will be divided by 1 plus IL that is 1 plus interest rate prevailing locally. Simply to remember this what you can do if you are computing rupee discount use the interest rate prevailing locally if you are computing dollar premium use the interest rate prevailing in the US simple as that let us move ahead and take up other alternative way of calculating the same that is rupee discount can be computed by taking the premium rate of dollar divided by 1 plus premium rate of dollar. So, what was the premium rate of dollar? We have found the premium rate of dollar as 4.8544 percent you can check the calculation. So, I am not writing it in percentage form I will write it in absolute form that is 0 0.048544 divided by 1 plus the same rate that is 1.048544. So, you, what you get is exactly 0 0.0463 or 4.63 percent per annum. Let us move ahead and now take up another question for practice. When I say for practice, it is basically your practice. Okay? Question number 25 is exactly similar to question number 23, exactly similar, no change at all except one point where all calculations you will have to do for 3 months instead of 1 year because the first requirement says determine 3 months fair forward rate. So, when you are computing premium discount and identifying which currency is appreciating and depreciating everything you will be computing based on 3 months time. The first part of the calculation that will be fair forward rate for 3 months. So, you know we have been solving questions like this. So, what you will have to do is adjust the interest rate for 3 months. So, it will be now 1.75 percent for 3 months for Indian rupee and for US dollar it will be 0 0.75 percent for 3 months. Substituting these values you will be finding the fair forward rate for 3 months as 70.69479 and uh, this rate being higher than the spot rate it is clear that US dollar is appreciating against Indian rupee. So, you may write it is observed that dollar is appreciating against rupee and rupee is depreciating against dollar. Alright friends, once you have completed writing these calculations, let us move ahead and now compute the premium rate for US dollar. First alternative, I am sure you would have done this, but one thing that you have to bear in mind that you will be applying the fraction that is 12 by N, N stands for number of months in the contract. So, here it was 3 months. So, you will be making the calculation for 3 months and uh, then you will annualize it by taking 12 by n. So, when you are doing this part of the calculation it is the calculation of premium rate of dollar for 3 months. You have to always present the premium and discount rates on a per annum basis. So, for annualization purpose this is for 3 months. So, what will be for 12 months? So, you are multiplying the factor of 12 by 3 and that gives you 3.97 percent per annum. Alright friends, once you have completed writing the calculation of dollar premium using this alternative, let us see the other alternative as well. 
here you take the dollar premium as 1 plus IL divided by 1 plus IF minus 1 and when you apply this calculation what you will get is exactly the same thing and what you initially get will be for 3 months and convert that into per annum by annualization and for annualization simply apply 12 by 3 and yet another alternative of uh, interest rate differential now as part of the solution you may skip writing this part okay but in exams if the question is asking you to determine the interrelationship between the interest rate and premium and discount rates you cannot ignore this part of the calculation so you have to show that dollar premium can also be computed this way and once again I am telling you interest rate differential has been divided by 1 plus interest rate in foreign country because you are computing the premium rate for a foreign country apply the calculations and what you get will be exactly matching with what you got earlier that will be 3.97 percent per annum let us move ahead and take up the calculation for discount rate of Indian rupee first alternative calculation that will be the usual calculation that is difference between spot and forward rate divided by forward rate and do not forget to multiply 12 by n define the variables and just write up the calculations when you do that what you are getting is exactly 3.93 percent per annum all right friends once you have completed writing this calculation let us move ahead and take up the next calculation that is uh, same thing rupee discount computed through another alternative this will be interest rate differential divided by 1 plus interest rate prevailing locally now over here please be little more careful here do not directly take interest rate differential for per annum because basically your calculation has to be done for 3 months and then only you will be applying 12 by 3 over here that is n substituted for 3 if you directly take interest rate differential for the entire year you will get not the right rate of discount for this particular scenario you will be getting the discount rate for a forward contract which was quoted or which could have been quoted for one year do not ever do that because the question has asked you to compute the fair forward rate for three months so all your basic calculation initially has to be done for three months and then only you annualize that rate to a per annum rate and when you apply the calculations correctly what you get will be matching with the calculation that you obtained in alternative one that is 3.93 percent per annum and yet another alternative way would be the premium rate of dollar divided by 1 plus premium rate of dollar and into 12 by n and keep in mind one thing when we are taking the premium rate of dollar again the premium rate of dollar initially what we have worked out for a period of three months that you have to apply which I have shown you in the previous alternative let me take you back to the previous slide to show you what exactly I am saying just one moment let me take you back still moving backward this is the calculation you got right this was the dollar premium rate for three months and then you multiplied by four to arrive at the annual this four was nothing but 12 by 3 so this was the dollar premium rate that we have computed for three months do not forget that so in the calculations ahead I am going to use the same thing this is it look at this rate this was the dollar premium rate divided by one plus premium rate of dollar so one plus premium rate of dollar into 12 by 3 and you get again the same calculation that will be 3.93 percent per annum